A 2021 study found that 51% of all Americans are absolutely terrified of sharks, with 38% of the population being terrified to swim in the ocean. That's about 4 out of every 10 people in the United States being deathly afraid to even step foot in the ocean. When you take all of that into account, you begin to realize that only a very small amount of the population feels safe to swim in the ocean, let alone with sharks. If you study or happen to know a lot about sharks, you know that they're not man-eaters. In fact, they're as far from it as possible. These animals are smart, inquisitive, and incredibly vital for our oceans. However, sharks are also incredibly powerful predators. I think that sharks are the most well-adapted animals on the planet. They've been roaming our oceans for over 400 million years. Yes, before the time of the dinosaurs and even before trees grew on land. Not only are all their senses heightened, but they also have additional senses like the ampullae of Lorenzini and the lateral line. These animals are built for survival and take down any prey item. When you think of the most dangerous shark, the great white is probably the first one that comes to mind. But what about other sharks, like bull sharks, or even tiger sharks maybe? Hey guys, it's Raymond here, and today we're going to be talking about which shark out there can be seen as the most dangerous. Now before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new videos. Today we're going to be debating about which shark can be seen as the most dangerous to people. That doesn't mean deadliest, however, because the answer to that question would just be the shark with the most recorded attacks or deaths. But instead, we're going to be looking at things like how closely they live to people, how often they're seen, and the different ways in which they attack. Now I do want to state that sharks are not something that you should fear when swimming in the ocean. Of course, they deserve all of your respect, but you're more likely to be struck by lightning than killed by a shark, so they're not something you should actually fear. That being said, sharks might be the most well-adapted predators on the planet. I don't know if any other animal is more well-suited for survival than a shark. Some of their hunting tactics are just insanely strategic, and they also have that strong bite and very sharp teeth. All time, there are only three shark species out there with more than 100 recorded attacks on people. These are great whites, tiger tigers and bull sharks. I knew that when making this video it would probably come down to these three sharks, so let's compare them all, starting off with the bull shark. Some people claim that the bull shark is the most dangerous shark because of its close proximity to people, strong bite, and occasional aggressiveness. All time, bull sharks have 119 unprovoked attacks on people, with 26 of them being fatal. That's a fatality rate of 21.8%. So essentially, one out of every five people attacked by a bull shark has has died. Bull sharks live in warm coastal waters all around the world, as well as freshwater rivers and estuaries. That's right, bull sharks are the only sharks on the planet that can survive in fresh water. It's believed that they only travel in the fresh water to mate and to give birth, because it provides good protection for their pups from other sharks. Bull sharks can be found around five of the world's seven continents, with Europe and Antarctica being the only exceptions. They can be found in pelagic waters as well as shallow reefs, so their range is pretty Pretty large. Speaking of large, these fish can grow to be around 10 feet long and over 500 pounds. I went diving with a 10 foot female bull shark in Florida earlier this year and it was one of the coolest sharks I've ever seen. Now most people look at the bull shark and think it looks just like a reef shark. What's so different about its size? And the answer to that is its girth. Bull sharks are really stocky and well built. These sharks also have pound for pound a stronger bite force than a great white shark, which is just insane to think about. Bull sharks are also known to be more aggressive than some other sharks, due to the male's increased testosterone levels. When you combine all of that information together, it becomes clear that the bull shark can be pretty dangerous if they decide to attack. Moving on, let's go over the tiger shark, which is one of my personal favorites. All time, tiger sharks have 142 unprovoked attacks on humans, with 39 of them being fatal. That's a fatality rate of 27.5%, which is pretty crazy how high it is. 
sharks. Tiger sharks also live in warm coastal waters all around the world. Basically, they're most often found in those tropical paradises we all like to vacation in, like the Bahamas, Hawaii, Florida, and Australia. Tiger sharks have always been so fascinating to me because of their bite. Their favorite prey item is sea turtles. And to be able to crush through that shell, you need a very strong bite. Their teeth are also really fascinating. As you can see, they don't look like normal shark teeth, but instead are jagged like the blades on a saw. That's because they're used in the same exact way a saw is. Tiger sharks use these blade-like teeth to saw and chew off limbs, which in my opinion is pretty cool. These sharks can grow up to over 15 feet long and weigh around 1,500 pounds. Some tiger sharks have even grown to 20 feet long, which is just insanely large. Altogether, size, bite, and stealth are what make the tiger shark so dangerous. Now let's move on to the big kahuna, the great white shark. All time, the white shark has 351 unprovoked attacks, with 59 of them being fatal. That's a fatality rate of only 16.8%. So despite what most of you out there think, the great white actually has the lowest fatality rate in this video. But if you're talking about this shark, we have to mention size. The great white is the largest predatory shark in the world, with only the basking and whale shark being larger. And both of those are filter feeders. This shark can grow to over 18 feet long and weigh as much as a ton, making it so once they bite down on something, they're able to hold on and take a big chunk out. Now, great whites live in cooler, more pelagic waters around the world. There are some spots where they can be seen roaming in shallower waters, but areas like that aren't their permanent swimming spots. These sharks prefer the open ocean where they feast on marine mammals most of the time. The best places to see white sharks are South Africa, Australia, and Guadalupe, Mexico. So they're not found too often around people. So now that we've looked over all of these three sharks, which one is actually the most dangerous? The great white is the deadliest, but I wouldn't consider it the most dangerous threat to most people because of how rarely it's seen at popular swimming spots. So that leaves it up to the tiger and bull shark. Bull sharks are probably going to be seen the most often out of all three sharks. But with that being said, they have 23 less attacks than tiger sharks. I think you all know where I'm going with this because I think the tiger shark can be seen as the most dangerous to people. They grow to incredibly large sizes, have a crazy strong bite with blade-like teeth, and are very stealthy hunters. And they do live in close proximity to people. Again, this is all pretty subjective, and this doesn't mean that you should just fear tiger sharks, but when looking at all the facts, it can be seen as the most dangerous to people. Alright guys, now of course, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you think the most dangerous shark out there is. And if you have been diving with any of the sharks I mentioned in this video, make sure to let me know as well. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on, so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.